Welcome back everybody. Today we're giving you a first look at a product that is either being released as I release this video or will be released shortly as I release this video. It is the BCM, uh, what is now being called the Stop Mod Stock. So the reason I say what is now being called the Stop Mod Stock is as of the recording of this video right now. Today is August 26th, 2016 and I've actually had this stock in since May but it's sort of been under wraps because these haven't been available yet or released yet to the general public. So I got a sort of advanced look at it which is really cool. I uh, have a lot of range sessions behind it. So far, so good. Really like it. And um, these will be coming out again shortly uh, as you see this video. So we're doing the recording now. We're going to get into some of the details. And then at the end, we'll come back and give you sort of an overall summary of the stock. Like we mentioned in the beginning, the big difference is going to be these cheek rests that you have here. So uh, just comparison with the standard one, you can see how much more they stick out. Now the Gunfighter Pod Zero, which is the original one right here, was meant to be a minimalist stock. Of course, this essentially keeps most of the same features with the difference being just a little bit wider in there. Uh, certainly going to be helpful for prone shooting, but it's just fine shooting standing or in any other position as well. Um, so some of those other features we are talking about is that it does have a nice rubber butt pad here on the rear. Uh, uh, that way it'll sort of stick to your shoulder or stick to your shirt when you put it in there and not move around on you. We have quick detach sling mounting points here. Now in there there's a piece of metal that's molded in there so they will not rotate. Uh, that's for two reasons. Number one, it's for that piece of metal that's in there. Additionally, the body of the sling right here actually prevents the QD socket from rotating as well. So some folks are going to find that to be very nice. That way nothing's flopping around on you. Some folks don't like it. I've read mixed reviews on the internet. So it is what it is. Uh, moving forward, we have this little piece right here. And a lot of folks wonder what that is. Uh, the design of that is so that way you can um, tie down your sling when you're in a vehicle or something like that. Uh, you just use a rubber band or some sort of elastic cord around there and it'll keep your sling really nice and flat to your stock so that way it's not flopping around and getting caught on things when you're going in and out of vehicles and you can uh, still deploy it very quickly. This version of the Gunfighter stock keeps the same durability that the first one was known for. I know there's a lot of uh, videos out there on the internet of the uh, Gunfighter Mod Zero being dropped from 20 feet on the concrete, um, of course attached to a rifle and surviving multiple drops. Now most stocks out there certainly aren't going to do that. It's developed one of the uh, best reputations in terms of durability as for any stock out there on the market. So this one keeps all that because it has the similar system. It breaks down into six parts only. Uh, to break it down, you're just going to need to put an Allen wrench in there and then go through that whole process. I cover that in my first video, so I don't want to waste uh, five, six minutes of this video doing that, but it breaks down into six parts. And of course, being a modular design, all of them, with the exception of the cheek piece here, will fit just fine on your original Mod Zero. In the AR world, one thing everybody wants to know about is weight. So we'll weigh uh, this stock with a few of the competitors out there. Stick it on there and you can see that it comes in right at 9 ounces on the dot. The original Gunfighter Mod Zero, put that on there, comes in at 7.7 .7 ounces. And then just one of the big competitors out there, this is the uh, B5 System SOP Mod stock. You can just see a quick comparison in terms of size, how it compares to it overall. And we'll put that on the scale as well and we're coming in at 11.1 ounces. Mounting the stock on your extension is pretty simple. Uh, one thing I want to comment on here while we have it off is the spring tension of this lever here, the adjustment lever. It's pretty t pretty intense. Uh, compared to some of the other ones out there, it's much, much stronger. Now, the advantage of that is it gives you a very solid lockup. You can put this on a, a bench or rest a bag in the rear, and you're not going to accidentally risk having your stock come loose and move while you're firing. So it's very secure, very strong design. However, some folks maybe who have arthritis or uh, young kids or small statured females may have a hard time uh, collapsing that down. Just something to keep in mind. Again, to put it on, we're just going to push down. You can see this little hole right here that appears. And just push something through there, anything that's long and cylindrical and thin. Uh, for instance, we're using this uh, 
key here and put it on your mill spec stock. We'll slide this down. This may be a little bit difficult here on camera. So I have about eight inches of clearance between the table and the camera, but we're just gonna slide it down until you hit that little wall and just pull down on this slightly. This releases the tension of it, but you still need to pull down just a touch on it and slide it on your extension. At this point, just compress it down, pull that out, and you can work it through any of the positions on your stock. And you can see there one thing pointing out, worth pointing out, is that it does collapse all the way down on a standard mill spec carbine stock extension. That's pretty much it for the details. A couple things that I couldn't point out there under the camera. Um, one thing that's nice about having this nice thin butt pad is that if you're wearing body armor, most body armor is gonna have sort of the shooter's cut, if you will, which is a little bit of an angle here. That nice thin butt pad will allow you to shoulder the stock either in your shoulder or on your plate the way it sits. So that's certainly a good thing. It's the same as the uh, Mod Zero Gun Fighter, which a lot of folks like and know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you know what I'm talking about, uh, that's the same on this. So it hasn't changed because the way they sort of cut the angles off, it leaves about an inch or so here on the rear, maybe a little bit more inch and a half that's unobstructed, which is perfect for wearing body armor. So. That's a good thing if you're wearing body armor. Even if you're not, it helps lighten it up. So there's no downside to it. Um, in terms of fit on the extension, um, there's a little bit of play. So if I quiet down here, I'm not sure if you guys can hear that if the mic's picking it up, but just a touch of play. However, it doesn't rattle or anything like that if you're walking around and when you're down shooting uh, for precision, the stock's not gonna move on you or anything like that. So good in terms of lock up all the way around and uh, pricing. I really don't know right now, but we can kind of predict it. So the Mod Zero, the original one, is going for about $60 or under right now. This one, I would predict, is going to go for about $75 or under uh, once it actually starts hitting the market. We'll put a link down below where you guys can pick these stocks up, where they're shipping from or pre-ordering from at this point. But um, all around, really like it. A little bit extra cheap weld, but the same durability and all the other features that the Gunfighter Mod Zero is known for. And uh, it's been one of the more popular stocks out there, and I expect this one to be just as popular. If you guys have any questions about the stock or anything else we cover here on the channel, you can always post down below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always, but thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.